Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the Deming Cycle PDCA template. Start by hiding the top ribbon to have more space. Perfect. First, let's go into the settings page. This allows the user to select a language. And in the translation tab, the user is able to customize our three standard languages, English, French, and Portuguese, and create a fourth custom language. Let's move on to the Issue tab. As its name indicates, it allows the user to list all issues. Let's add a new one. Perfect. Moving on to the Department tab. This presents a list of departments. Let's add a new one called Operations. Now, the Resource tab. This allows the user to set up staff member or resources. Let's add a new one called Lady Gaga. And we'll assign her to our newly created department, Operations. Great. Let's move on to the most important section, the PDCA. We'll look into this landing page later. First, let's go into the plan section. This is where we enter the list of tasks corresponding to the plan section. Let's create one together. We'll indicate the issue being our newly created issue, issue 11. We'll label the task, task 40. Assign our newly created team member. As you can see, the department column autofills based on the team member we've entered. We'll then enter a start date. A due date. and a progress. We'll put 0% as we haven't started this task yet. As you can see, the status autofills based on the information we've previously entered. The do, check, and act sections are very similar to the plan section. Let's go back to the PDCA. This allows us to track the PDCA tasks with the ability to filter by department. As you can see, we have 40 tasks in the plan section and an average progress of 51%. If we filter by newly created department, we can see we have zero tasks for each section, except for the plan that has our newly created task and an average progress of 0%. And that's it. You know everything you need to know about the Deming Cycle PDCA template, and you're ready to start using it now. Enjoy!